This is a review of the mechanism of action of glucocorticoids. These drugs can act by decreasing gene expression. So in this case, the glucocorticoid is released from a corticosteroid binding protein. It enters the cytoplasm and it interacts with the glucocorticoid receptor. This changes the this shape of the receptor, releases the heat shock proteins, and the glucocorticoid receptor can interact with the glucocorticoid response element. This inhibits gene transcription and inhibits the production of various proteins. They mostly act by increasing gene transcription. So this is very similar in that the glucocorticoid only works when it's released from its binding protein, crosses the cell membrane, and binds the glucocorticoid receptor. This causes the release of the heat shock protein, and then um, it dimerizes and interacts with the glucocorticoid response element on the DNA. This leads to the RNA polymerase, producing some messenger RNA. Um, this happens in the nucleus, and then the messenger RNA leaves the nucleus um, to interact with the ribosome, um, which then produces a polypeptide chain, which, after some post-translational modification, is going to produce some sort of a protein. So this protein, these proteins can have a variety of effects on metabolism. For example, they can lead to the breakdown of myocytes and um, produce amino acids, or the breakdown of adipocytes and produce glycerol, so that's the breakdown of muscle and fat, to produce amino acids and glycerol, which are then worked on by the liver uh, to produce elevated levels of glucose. So in a survival situation, this can lead to, or you know, a stressful situation, this can lead to survival by getting extra fuel to the heart into the brain. The inhibitory effects that we talked about earlier have an effect on the immune system, for example. For example, this can decrease the production of cytokines and stop an immune reaction. So short term, these drugs aren't that big, much of an issue, but if the effects persist, it can lead to some problems. So, for example, an excessive amount of glucose can be produced, and this can lead to hyperglycemia. And if the immune system is excessively inhibited, um, this can lead to susceptibility to infection. Thank you.